playing some FIFA, so Pro Evolution Soccer 2014. I bet all the FIFA fans are gonna kill me. They're about to say FIFA. But anyways, came out for free with PS Plus. Like my first soccer game ever, and like my first sports game in about three or four years. And I thought, like, why not get to play it? Now for the team, I don't know shit about soccer, really. I just pick any random team. And when I started this up like a while back, uh, there's a few things I noticed. One, they annoyed the shit out of you. Which we got started like, oh yeah, make this character, or yeah, do this, yeah, do that, press OK, we have to see the passes and all that crap. And also, this still speaking about passes, they still an online pass. Oh my god. Why the fuck is there still an online pass? I thought we got done with that, thanks to EA. But now it's like it still exists, which doesn't make any fucking sense at all for an online pass. Another thing I noticed is that the music on this game sucks. So I went to the soundtrack to see if they added any more new music. It's not even that big, that big of a selection, but if you see, on the bottom, you can add songs. So, if you guys want to add songs, um, I'm ready to give you a link in the description below. You can use it on the PS3 browser, or just transfer songs to from your USB, I guess, to on there. Don't know how to do that. I think you can, but eh, why not? And this is how you add the add the uh, playlist from your hard drive on there, and it will just tell you the name. But um, enough for all that. Let's just get to the gameplay. Now, I did previously play this, but the recording did not go so well, and I was pissed. And so I had to read. So, some. I'm John Champion, and today's co-commentator is Jim Beglin. Valencia has the ball in a wide position. Looking to receive the ball, break could be on. Valencia. Van Persie's got it. He's one on one with the keeper. Steals it. And he's there for the follow up. Goal! Manchester United. They grab the opener. The keeper just didn't deal with it. And his team has paid the price. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy. And after that, maybe there's some truth in it. Does it?
They've got off to a very good start. And that's a foul. I get out of it one yellow card, but it was Rooney, who's just added his name to the score sheet. It's through to Van Persie. Surely a goal. He can take the shot on here. Rooney shoots. And the chance accepted with some aplomb. They lead by two. Well, what can you say about that goal? Rooney has the obvious danger man here, and yet he's afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. A brace of goals for him now. So, it's now two without reply. Well, at 1-0, this game was very much in the balance, but at 2-0, they ought to be able to defend this lead from here. He couldn't get it cleanly, and it's a foul. Takes a shot, and it's a really well-taken goal. Just one goal in it now. The comeback could be on. Game be on. Leads down to a single goal now. I think they can sense a comeback here, and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. Surely he could put it away. And it's taken with some style. Two goals to the good, and they're set fair. Find some words to do justice to that goal. Van Persie just knew instinctively where the ball was going to end up. That's clearly been worked on on the training ground, and the understanding is, is pretty exceptional between them. It was beautifully worked. So we resume, and the gap is now two. Well, I think that two-goal cushion they've just manufactured is a fair reflection of what we've seen up to now. It also adds to the, the psychological divide between the two teams. It could make a big difference. And suddenly the defence is on the back foot. Rooney, who so far has scored twice. Here's Van Persie. It's never easy keeping the ball under yeah. control when the pressure's been applied like that. I think he asked too much of himself. Rooney, another goal. They have a three-goal advantage, and that should be enough. What are your thoughts on the goal, Jim Beglin? Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. He'll be taking the match ball home. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. They now enjoy a three goal lead. And he hits it. Raphael. Valencia. That wasn't the best of passes, really. El Mohammadi. Whistle goes. Referee just gives the throw. Rooney on the ball. Valencia, creator of one goal already. Tries it from long range. From distance, it lacked accuracy. Valencia showed great dribbling. 
ability then, but he obviously has to work on his end product because if he improves on that, it will be almost unstoppable. Carrick has it back now. Carrick knocks it forward. Play surges forward. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his just Oh, yet another goal. They're well clear now. It's just a question of how many more. It just couldn't have been placed any better. They have this game in their hands now. Rafael. Hits the ball. Cleared away from immediate danger. A minimum of two minutes to be played for stoppages. The chance for a shot. The keeper puts it behind. Some hopeful faces waiting in the middle. Takes it short. There goes the whistle, and it's half-time. There's a wide gap between these teams now. 